What is up guys and welcome to another Bojo New Vlog. How you guys doing? So, in today's entry, I wish to uh, do the continuation, uh, continuation of last week's entry, which is, I gave an introduction on, well, yeah, of, this en of today's entry really. Um, but you know, in last week's entry I talked about how we are at, we are kind of, you know, kind of in a time where there is a lot of unrest, right? And it's calling us to really kind of um, wrestle with ourselves and the world, you know, amidst all of this pain, because there is a lot of pain. There's a lot of unconsciousness. There's a lot of people who don't know what to do, you know, and it's very easy as a sensitive soul to get caught up in all of that stuff, right? But like, as I mentioned in last week's entry, the beauty of that is that like, we can take the gift of pain and suffering to go within and to, and to fish out the things that truly matter to us, you know, and the things that, that kind of represent our true callings in, in terms of like actions and paths, like career paths or like whatever it might be for you, right? Your life, right? How you're going to build your life. So cool. In this entry, I wanted to move from that into um, one common, well, it's kind of a pair, right? So like, it's like, you know, you have like oneness and duality, right? This is like two sides of the same coin, really. But like these, so two like kind of pitfalls that people fall into that kind of keep them stuck in a life of mediocrity, right? So like two entries ago, I talked about how in society there's like loneliness and mediocrity, which are kind of rampant, right? Everyone's lonely, like, and they feel this sense of emptiness and everyone like, everyone wishes their lives were better and they kind of feel like they deserve a better life, but many people don't have that better life you know, and so they try to kind of like cope the best they can, you know, without thinking about it too much well. So how does one get to the next level? Because we're all trying to do that. We're like, what? We need to get to the next level, man. Get to the next fucking level, you know? Well, I'm here to identify two pitfalls that might be kind of getting in your way. Or, or if, if you're someone who already understands this, and maybe you can kind of this can be kind of like a, you know, yeah, like, these people in society, you know, like, kind of like a, like a common discussion, even though I'm the one who's talking, but like, you know, you can kind of like sit in the mess, in, in the kind of core of what I'm saying here, but, um, so, what are the two pitfalls? Okay, so I mentioned that, like, um, I mentioned, oh, you know, one of my key messages, right? What, are, what is my core teaching? Like one of my core teachings. I teach about tapping into your sensitivity and the importance of being, of, of understanding the way that you feel and allowing the way that you feel, right? Because in order to live a heart-centered life, how you feel is probably the most important thing to you, right? People talk about authenticity like it's a... When people talk about it, it sounds like they're, 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 they're saying it like it's a... Like, you know, like assertiveness. Assertiveness means you have to, you know, let your needs be known whilst respecting the people's, you know, like personal interests also. And it's like, yeah, that's great. I love assertiveness, right? But authenticity, like it's less of a behavioral thing, I believe. You know, things, you know, like really, really like great behavioral things can come out of authenticity. Definitely, right? But like authenticity is more about being honest with yourself, right? And the more that you learn how to be honest with yourself, the like the less jittery you are, right? Because initially, like we're all afraid of being authentic, right? So like when 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 we try to be authentic, sometimes like like the irony is that like in the pursuit of trying to be authentic, we we actually become inauthentic subconsciously. So like it's it's an interesting thing, right? But like the real way to become more authentic is just to be honest with yourself. How do you act when you're by yourself? You know, if you start to do vocal diary entries or any kind of journaling like I do, you, you discover your, your authentic voice. Because it is a communication, it is an expression, but you're doing it without the pressure of other people. So you're like, so that's like kind of a very interesting practical way 
a very effective and honestly one of my lifelines that led me up to like doing you know these vlog entries and stuff like that is like to is developing my own authentic expression which is just to like talk to myself people say that talking to yourself is a sign of madness I say maybe they're the mad ones. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> um, okay, so how do you tap into your sensitivity? You go, one, in the direction of your joy, which means you, you prioritize, you optimize for your happiness, for your fulfillment. You're not trying to hurt other people in, in doing so, but you're trying to find the path and make this a continuous process of the things that you love the most. Right. I think Teal Swan has like has a different kind of articulation for this. She says, what would someone who loves himself do? And you, you make that like a like a daily process, an hourly process, right? Where you're just continually being like, what would someone who loves themselves do? But like to me, like my message is more kind of personal. So like I'm like, no, like what do you want to do? Like search your feelings and find the thing that you really want to do that would like you're like you th when you're thinking about it you're like oh yeah i can't wait to do that thing like that's that's the feeling that you want right so go in the direction of your joy the other one go in the direction of your pain right because life is ups and downs right and you will encounter a down someone will piss you off plans won't go according to plan you know like something that you're really looking forward to disappoints you or doesn't show up and you're just like ah you know you fail you know, like people trick you, you know, you run, you're like afraid of running out of money. Like, you know, we all get depressed, you know, but you have to learn the hard way. <laughs> and the reason I say that is because like, again, it's just my observation, right? But like, it tends to be that like, in order to kind of embrace your pain, you, you kind of like, it, it's, it's like what I call the banging head against the wall phenomenon, where like you kind of like, at, like you, you, you keep resisting. And even if you don't want to resist, like before you have reached this point where like, I call it an egoic meltdown, right? Where like, you just stop trying to resist anything because you're like, fuck, what's the fucking point? I keep trying to force myself to be less negative, to be less whatever. It doesn't fucking work. So fuck me, fuck you, fuck everyone, right? And like, the minute that you get there, the next minute, the next hour, the next day, you're like, holy shit. You're like, holy shit, I've, it, ah, I went through that shit. And, and like, and, and I, for once in my life, I didn't resist. And all it took was for like me to have that episode, and I finally understand that. And that's the starting point where, where like that's the starting point of the journey of you embracing your pain and learning how to be with your pain and not to suppress it. Numero uno, right? Is not to suppress it, right? And like, and this leads into, well, so you don't suppress it, right? And then you, you learn from it. There's always a lesson. And once you've picked up the lesson, there's, there's a further thing, which is like that pain is a charge for you then to like go towards what you want. It's motivation. I was talking about how like the irony of society is that we've made such a comfortable society, which was because we lived in such a fucking dangerous world, right? But the irony, the irony now is that we're lacking motivation. We're lacking motivation to do to six to like make better lives, and we're also lacking motivation to, to connect with one another, because those like those danger motivations aren't there anymore, right? Or to a less ex lesser extent, right? So, but the thing is, when pain comes up, because that's really what it is. It, like, it's no different from, like, like, there's no difference, really, between, like, a tiger chasing you <laughs> or, like, you know, you being, like, tortured by a neighboring tribe or you being pissed off, like, because some dickhead cut you up in traffic, right? Or you failed your, like, business plan or whatever. It's the same thing. It's pain, right? It's the feeling. There's feeling and then the circumstances, right? There's energy and the symbolism, right? The axis of perception, right? So... You can use that as motivation to succeed, to connect with people, to build a better life, right? And so what are the common pitfalls between these two things? And I'm not talking about the axes, I'm talking about love and, uh, love and pain, right? Number one, it's when you cannot allow your pain, right? So I already explained 
what it is, like, or how you do it, and now I'm saying how it is, so it's kind of reversed, right, kind of backwards, but apologies for that, <laughs> but, like, just how my brain works. Um, so, like, most people in society, what, what, what are they doing? Particularly, like, when things don't go their way, you know, when, the, when they have to make decisions, you know, and, like, they don't have a choice in things, what do they do? They complain, you know, they start feuds with other people, you know, they spend all of their time, like, doing something that is in reaction and re or retaliation to someone else or, like, to some other thing, you know. They bitch about systems and governments and businesses and stuff like that, right? You know? That's what they do, <laughs> right? And it's because, like, there's the, like they haven't, like... They, to them, it's like, you know, fucking, like, the world's a piece of shit place, man. The world's a piece of shit place, you know. And, like, I oh, fucking can't. Like, this fucking president, or, like, like the government's shit. And, like, like fucking, like, the, like people are dumb. And, like, oh, fucking kids nowadays are so, like, ah, oh, people are having kids than when they shouldn't be. The people who are most likely to have kids are the people who are less qualified to have kids. <laughs> I sneaked a little rant in there. Like, <laughs> but, like, yeah, and, like, and to them, it's, like, they're trapped in this laundry machine of, like, fucking, like, 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 it's, like, fucking shit happening to me all the time. Like, fuck, you know? And to them, it's, like, I'm, I'm trying to be a good person and like the world is so harsh to me and it's like you know like I'm trying to be a good person but like fucking like you know like like maybe maybe they're not as dramatic as that maybe they're just like you know like fuck this part like fuck this party fuck this president fuck this system you know and it's just like it's just like it's reaction right it's just like they can't let it go you know, someone cuts them up in traffic. They have to go beside them and be like, fuck you, asshole. You know, it's like they can't, they can't escape that cycle of pain. And it's because they don't know how to allow their pain, right? So this, it's already in the title of this, end, of this video. Number one is you have to learn how to, the, the, like, so the first problem is like people don't know how to be with their pain, right? And like the solution is you have to learn how to be with pain pretty self-expansionary, right, you know, but like, or rather another way of saying this is they haven't yet realized that pain is not them. Have, have, have any of you read like, or like, you know, you probably already know this, like, to be honest, so like, I'm not trying to be condescending or like, whatever, but like, like, uh, The Power of Now, Eckhart Tolle, Eckhart Tolle, right, and he talks about the mind is not you, your mind is not you. It's, it's, it's a, an aspect of you, but it's not you in your entirety. The same applies to pain, right? And, like, the average person in society who, like, is, like, is so caught up in drama and, like, and victimhood, right? And, like, I'm going to talk about that as well, right, uh, at the end of the century. But, like, they're caught up in victimhood and, like, yeah, and all this density, right? They don't realize that pain is not the entirety of them. AKA, they have not sat with their pain long enough to realize that it's just another part of them and that they do have the power to sit with it and for it not to destroy, and for it to not destroy them or to not govern their lives to such a drastic degree. It's just a feeling at the end of the day, right? But the meaning that they've associated with it is self-destructive, you know, it hasn't matured to the level of like, okay, like pain is here, suppression is not resourceful, you will learn this, that's why shadow work, or like spirituality 2.0 exists, you know, is like, you, you do, like suppression is not good, what do we all do the first time we set off on the spiritual journey or the personal development journey? We learn to be fucking superheroes, right? We learn to be captain equanimity, right? Where like nothing affects us and we try to see the bright side of everything. It's like, oh yeah, I know this person did this, but it, but like I choose to love them. I choose to love them. 
because I know that they have pain and I have pain and they're another human being and I would much rather contribute to consciousness than to unconsciousness and pain in the world. I want to end the cycle of pain. That's where my principles are. <laughs> yeah, and like I, I'm, I, I'm making fun of it, but it really isn't funny because like we, that's like, or rather like that's 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 how it is. Is that that's how we start on the journey. It's like that's what we're trying to do is to become perfect, right? But like eventually, you realize that like pain is there. It has a right to exist. Your anger, your rage, and subsequently the anger, the rage, the darkness of other people. It's part of this life. It's part of this experience, right? So like you learn to not resist it and you learn to not suppress it. Suppressing is fine. And this is the weirdness of resistance or anything that's emotional and energetic as opposed to logical, right? and linear, is that like, in order to, in order to not be consumed by pain and negativity and darkness, you must allow it. In order to put down resistance, you have to allow resistance. You can't resist resistance, you know? And that's pitfall number one, is people don't realize that yet if they haven't realized it yet is like you have to allow a degree of your pain like you, you have to become like somewhat of a pussy i guess like i, I don't know if that's, that's probably the a really shitty way of putting it but like let me let me rephrase that like like you have to be able to like let go right let go there's two types of muscles, one's striving, one's letting go, you know, and like, you have to realize that like, you have a choice to just breathe in your pain so, and, 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 to, and to see it fully and it will no longer consume you. And you will no longer be caught up in drama. You will still be angry. You will still be offended. But like in those moments, you have a choice for the first time. You're like, okay, I could knock on this neighbor's door and shout at them and give them peace of my mind. Or I could go outside. I could take a walk in the park, smell the roses, go somewhere, explore a new part of town, you know, listen to my favorite tracks on headphones. I could get, I could take my laptop with me and, and write some ideas down for what I could do. You know, I could decide what to eat tonight, something I really want to eat. I could talk to friends that I really enjoy talking to. I could go out and socialize, right? That's the key. Is in allowing your pain and recognizing or, or like, and, and learning to like be with it, changing the meaning that pain has for you, right? I'm just, saying different way things that mean the same thing basically, right? Being with your pain, you learn to have choice and that's numero uno. Numero dos is, it makes sense, right? Logically, that people gravitate or move in the direction of things that they enjoy, right? Right? Like, or rather if, 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 you, if you like, it, it's, you would assume that the average, or like, you know, it's, you like it's like you think of the average person right and like to them right it probably like they probably they're probably thinking yeah like you know i you know like i it makes sense that people go towards what they enjoy right it, it seems that that's a logical kind of outcome for people right and earlier i said you know like people people do think <laughs> that they deserve a good life we all do i do you probably do <laughs> We all do. Like we were like we're all born like as children, even before we're able to like to like consciously think of anything. We're just pure feeling beings, right? As as like babies. We already have this thing where it's like we deserve what we want, right? So like there is this thing. But what's the reality? What's the reality? 
you look around you. Is it could is it that like there's more rich people than poor people? <laughs> I'm being facetious, but like, yeah. I mean, like, what do you see more? Do you see more poverty, or like, do you see more like affluence and consciousness and people who are like, I'm about contribution. I'm about self fulfillment, and subsequently, or like, or it's, it's a cycle of of self fulfillment and fulfillment for the other for the outside world. I'm here to champion abundance and empowerment and inspiration, you know, and conscious. Did I say conscious already? Consciousness. <laughs> That's the last word. Or do you see people who are in poverty? Do you see people who are in pain? Do you see people who are just coping? Do you see people who don't realize their, their, like their kind of own power, you know? What do you see more? I mean, it's out there, right? And the reason it is, is because people don't realize that it just, and this is kind of like a sobering realization, right? Kind of a thing, right? But like, people don't realize that like, the best shit does not just fall into your lap. You know? A life, like, the, your, your, like a life where you, you like, you have everything that you want and then some, and like, you, you like, you get to live the kind of life that you want, like, 100%, and you tap into your fullest potential, so you're, like, a sick guy or a sick girl, and you, and you just, like, you poop, you poop moonbeams, and you shoot, like, stardust out of your eyes, you know, like, and, like, anyone you touch is, is fully healed, and, like, obviously I'm exaggerating, but, like, and it's, like, yeah, that's, gonna, like, that's me, you know, all I have to do is sit here, and wait and be patient and eventually that life's gonna come to me. <laughs> People think this. I think this. Like, just because I'm being like a smug asshole now doesn't mean that like I'm not part of what I'm trying to, what I'm describing it. It's like, I'm like, why don't I have everything? I'm so talented. <laughs> I'm so talented, I'm so smart, I come up with so many ideas, why don't I have a good life? Why don't people see just how smart I am and how, how much, how beautiful my vision is? You know, I'm not that unattractive, am I? Why don't people like come up to me and be like, you're so attractive, I love you, you know, let's be friends. <laughs> you don't think I don't, like, I don't think like that? Or like, you don't think... You don't think I, yeah, you don't think I don't think like that? <laughs> Double negatives. Yay! I do. <laughs> like, a lot of the time, I'm like, why, what, like, what, I look at people, I'm like, why does he, why is he rich? Why is he fucking, like, why is he get, getting attention? Why aren't I getting attention? It was, like, it's a guilty, it, it's, it's an, uh, a confession of mine. I probably... I rationalized I didn't think this way, but like looking back, I probably I probably looked, like felt this way most of the time. I'm like, why? You know, like obviously like I, I would never be like super, super anal about it, but, but like, you know, occasionally I would be like, why is he so, like, why, why does, why is this person in the spotlight? You know, why is this person successful and not me? And you go through life and you learn that good shit does not automatically drop into your lap. Hence the second part of the title, laboring for love. You have to work to build a good life, you know? And the, the plus side is like, you know once you can accept that, that you will get a good life. If, if, if you learn to embrace that like, okay, it's not automatically gonna drop into my lap, but if I take it a day at a time, I occasionally look at the mountain and I'm like, okay, I have, a, I have a fucking long way to go, right? But like, let's let's do this day by day. It's a process after all. Life is the long game, right? You take a step every day and you go closer and closer towards your dream. You discover more things that you want and you keep going. You keep owning yourself. You discover new interests. You discover new things. You meet new people, right? And like, and like you know that like you will get there at the, in the end. 
And it's okay if you have setbacks, because you're going to try again tomorrow. And if tomorrow doesn't work out, you try again the next day. If the whole month is shitty, you try next month. Because it's not a big deal if you fail. It's part of the journey, right? But you have to understand that, like, you can't just sit there. And, and like, you're going to become a millionaire. And, like, everyone's going to recognize just how smart you are and how talented you are. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm being facetious again. But it's like, but that's, that's really it. You know, it's like, you will learn. And, like, I did that, like, you can't just sit there. And, and like, and if nothing's happening, you're like, why isn't anything happening? Why? Why am I not getting more money and more people watching my videos? Why? Right, and like, trust me, it's okay if that happens. It's okay, I do that. What I just did there, there I did like probably last night. <laughs> I was probably sitting in my car and like, why, why, can't, why can't I get the things? Why don't I have more viewers? And it's like, you go through it and you don't judge yourself. And in not judging yourself, you learn not to judge other people when they do it, right? But then, like, after you go through it, you're like, okay, now that I had that little tantrum, which was fun, <laughs> it's probably not as fun or as funny as I just did there. I was, like, you know, trying to be entertaining, but, like, it's probably more, like, kind of, like, like embarrassing, like, when it happens in real life. But, like, but, but you're like, okay, so, like, so, I, okay, universe, thanks for the lesson. I'm not going to just sit here and things are happening. Okay, do I feel like conquering Everest? No, if anything, it scares the shit out of me. You know, when I see some people who are out there who are, who are succeeding or like who have something that I want, I'm like, I'll never get there, you know, and it's scary, but like, you know what? Maybe I can take one step today. Maybe it could be as simple as going out of the house and taking a walk around the park and chilling the fuck out and, do, and doing that one thing do you remember that? I don't know if you watched it, but like, if you did, like, do you remember that entry where I talked about like, pick one thing. How do you motivate yourself practically, right? One thing you can do, which is back, back to, like, I call it back to basics, right? Is like, you can pick one thing that is super easy for you. For me, it's doing like vocal diary entries, like talking to myself. Right? I love doing that. It's, it's so fun. And like, it's, it's productive as well, because you get to be with yourself. You get to learn things about yourself. You get to like formulate ideas and thoughts. So pick one thing that is productive, but super easy, requires zero effort and make that your daily, your daily kind of practice or ritual or part of your ritual, right? Make it part of your ritual. Yeah. And, and like you can get like, and you, you set, you, you can try again. You try again. Oh, today it was a setback. Oh, fuck, fuck. Fuck! Like, why does the world? Why does the world give me what I want? No! You know, like fuck! My neighbors are so loud. Fuck! I want. I'm gonna watch YouTube. Why am I watching this video of cats and dogs and and people playing pranks on people? Why am I watching this? Pe these people like doing these stupid things. I'm. I should be. I should be like doing something towards my dreams. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. I'm so useless. I'm, so, I'm like 29 almost and I don't have anything to show for it and my family and my friends get in my way <laughs> they don't understand me <laughs> and I don't know if you can hear but like kids are playing on the balcony and they're banging their stupid little plastic cars and they're making noise and distracting me from what I'm trying to say and today I could have practiced piano but I haven't yet and I've got so much to do fuck It's okay. You have to go through that. You have to go through it. And eventually it's all part, it becomes part of the journey as well, right? It just becomes another part of that cycle of that daily existence where you're just going through ups and downs. But you learn to not resist it, which is number one. And once you go through it, the pain, like I explained earlier, burns away the impurities, the distractions, you know, the noise in your mind, both from external sources and from your own like kind of neurotic thoughts, right? And you're left with, okay, I'm still alive. I'm still breathing. I still love the things that I love, you know? What can I now do? I can go outside. I can do an entry. I can do that one thing. And the life goes on and life goes on. 
you know. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, I wish I could, I wish people understood this, but they don't. It, it's like, it, it's, it's, it's a bit, it's sneaky. It, it's kind of like yin and yang. I had this idea as I was out doing one of my, my entries today, like, it's similar to, to not, not, not yin yang itself, but like the framework of yin yang. Right? So if you picture like yin yang, right? It's like this, and then there's like a, there's one half which is white, uh, one half which, which is white, but it has a black dot in it, and the other half is black, and it has a white dot in it. Because the human mind is linear, it's, in, it's inclined to think that like, oh, like, you know, like good things should happen, right? You know, like good things have to happen, right? And bad things should not happen. Should and shouldn't, right? Like the mind likes to think in these ways, right? And like, but that's the mind. It's yet another thing that we have to accept, right? But within the context of the bigger picture, we see that like, okay, but the irony or the paradox or whatever it is, like the, the irony is that like, pain has to be allowed to some extent because it's a part of life. And as you go through it, you learn that like, actually, it, it, it like it, every time I go through it, it re it reunites me with my love, because sometimes I get bored of the things that I love. When I've been doing them and I'm trying to make them into a career, maybe I might get a little bored and fed up with it. You know, I'm sat on my piano and I'm trying to learn a piece. I'm like, yeah, I like piano and I like music, but like I've been playing the same piece for the whole day, and yesterday and the day before, and I'm so bored of playing it. Why can't it just be easier? You know, and it's like. But you go, but then you go and you you fall off the bandwagon and you don't practice for a few days and you, whatever, right? And you, eventually you go back to your piano like, I fucking love piano <laughs> and music, right? So like, and and it shows and it, like it burn it 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 serves as like a it's it it's an aggressive force, you know? It, it's it's a it's not a it's not like a a soft energy. It's a hard energy. Pain, negative negativity. It's 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 cutting, right? And like that cut, it hurts. It's not pleasant. We would all we would like we would all rather just sit there, and be at peace. Would we all not? I would. You know. But the thing is, like when it cuts. Like, the thing is, you don't have to admit that you like it. The way I'm saying it, I sound like some enlightened guru who's like, you know, like, you must accept pain. Why don't you accept pain yet, motherfucker? But, like, it's more that, like, I don't like it. Like, I do everything in my power to, like, resist it. And, like, and the thing is that you learn that you have to let that happen. You have to not like it. And, like, what I'm explaining here is more of a conceptual thing and a cerebral thing than it is, like, an emotional, energetic thing. Energetically, you have to allow the pain. And allowing pain means you have to allow even your resistance towards that pain. Because what is that resistance? I don't like it. And you have to let go of the attachment that I have to like every single thing that happens to me. This should happen. This shouldn't happen. Because that's how the brain works, right? But you have to be able to distinguish between what is a concept and what is a, an energy. That's why I say tap into your sensitivity but also explore perspectives and to think your cute little brain out, you know? Ouch. <laughs> um, yeah, you know? So you have to like, you have to be human. You have to realize that being a piece of shit <laughs> is part of being a human. You have to realize that people are manipulative sometimes, you know, and they're violent and they have contempt for other people and they're lazy and they're entitled and they're hypocritical. And it's both us and it's both you and other people. You know, you, sometimes you just think that and you're like, yeah, and you're but in this and you're like, when you're thinking, you're like, fuck, fuck, fucking human. Mm. You know, but like, 
when you get back into your your mind, your more objective part of you, right? You're like, it's part of it. And like the challenge, should you choose your mission? Should you choose to accept it, Mr. Hunt? I don't know if that's actually like from Mission Impossible, but like, I think it is. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to learn to allow, which is an energetic thing. It's an emotional thing, you know? You can, th you can analyze, but you cannot, but like you only analyze what happens. You can't analyze how you feel, unfortunately, right? Feeling can only be, to be like experienced, right? But, but like, it, it's weird. This, this is why it's tricky, you know, it's like, yeah, it's like, you can allow, you can allow resistance, you can resist allowance. <laughs> and that's the second one. Or, or rather like, the opposite of this is like, the, the, so you have yang, or like, or let's call it yin, because yin is dark, right? With the little yang thing in it. Right. Wait, right? Anyway, yeah, let's not get into yin yang. I only used it as an example of like framework, not the actual representation of what yin yang means, because they're not really that relevant, right? But like, they're, they're you know, they're, they're relatable, but they're not super like relevant to each other. But like, the other side is like, you have to realize that like, you like that that like even though you feel entitled and you are deserving which is important if you think about it because like what's more what's better what's more natural to be deserving or undeserving i think every single person in in the spiritual community just heard that telepathically <laughs> like everyone just heard me like saying that even if they weren't watching this video even if they don't know who the fuck i am they're like oh, someone mentioned about deserving i agree <laughs> You know, I agree. And yeah, and, and like, yeah, you know, like, you, you, you re recognize, like, it's, you have to, like, so you have to allow that. You can't be judging that. You can't be like, oh, it's because I'm selfish. But even that should be allowed. You see how, how this is fun? It's fucking like labor, labor, labyrinth. But it's fucking fun when you when you learn how to do it, like being sensitive and like and going through all of these like kind of like loopholes and shit, like all of all of these nuances. Like oh, but this, but this, but this, you know, it's kind of fun, and I think it should be fun because some people are like you know you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that, you know, you shouldn't do that. Why why would you go through all of this fucking rigmarole? You know, it means that you are you are you are addicted to thinking. You know, some people make the argument is that like, well, if it means that you will continually like, kind of like one up yourself, like, ah, oh, but, but, but this, and then someone else is like, ah, oh, but this, and you're like, no, 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 but this, you know, you shouldn't do that because it means that you are, you are addicted to thinking and you're not experiencing and blah, blah, blah. I think you should just, just, just know, just know its place. Just be like, okay, as long as I understand that, like, you know. It is important though, you know, thinking, although it is like the cause of much of the dysfunction and unconsciousness in our world, like, you know, our, addict our addiction to thought and concepts and linearity and all this shit, right? The mind, you are not your mind, you know, it is still fucking crucial. It's what makes you human <laughs> and it makes life awesome. I'm talking to a camera that was invented by some, some scientist. <laughs> or like people who took all of these scientific discoveries and put them together into something that benefits people. So thinking is good, you know. As long as you, uh, you are not doing it from the wrong place. And this is kind of where it ties together. So like, you know, those are the pitfalls that hopefully illustrate like, you know, like, yeah, so, so, it, so in summary, people underestimate the, the importance of pain, you know, like they don't, or they underestimate the, the potency of pain. They don't realize that they, that you can be consumed by pain and be, and let it run your life. And they overestimate 
like their entitlement to like two amazing things. That's the pitfall. Right. So like in order to counteract that, we must learn to allow our pain and thus realize that pain is only a part of us and that we should put it in its place and not let it run us and to and to recognize that. And also we need to recognize that like that that like love like that like life is chaotic and it me and and the universe is not necessarily conspiring for any one of us to become like the king of the world, right? And to have everything fall into our lap. But rather that like we can learn to be like, okay, but like this may be the case, but we can learn to embrace the empowerment journey. To learn how to like become to become our own law of attraction manifestors, you know, where we can like take action towards the things that we truly want to do. You know, once we accept, once we get past the whole like we 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 have to go through it, right? It should be allowed, like where we're like, I why can't I you know, why do children cry? It's because like it's like they they're 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 fucking upset and irate that they can't have what they want. So you have to go through that like kid crying phase where you're like, huh oh, the world is so unfair, fuck the world, like I just want what I want, fuck why won't you give it to me? I hate you. You know, you have to go through that as an adult. Maybe not as dramatically, right? But you go through it and then you and then you're like, okay, well, if the world's not gonna give me what I want, then maybe it means that I can go I can I can have a choice. And 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 like go for what I want. There's something I didn't mention, right? And, and like it's kind of a bit out of place to mention it now, but like um Yeah, okay, well, I'll say it like this, right? So, like, instead of, like, because people don't, like, it's like, why do people, why are people addicted? You know, why are people addicted to, like, why, why do people, like, default to things like McDonald's and donuts and cigarettes and alcohol and stuff like that? Like, log does, it, does it not logically follow that, like, you should get what's really good for you and what you really want? No. If, like, if all this rampant fucking bullshit that people sell to people that's so popular, you know, is, is, like, if that's evidence towards anything, it is that, like, shitty things are the default. Like, or, 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 like, you are not entitled to the best stuff. You have to work, man. Otherwise, enjoy eating McDonald's for your rest of life. Well, that was the, the kind of illustration I had in mind. But anyway, so to wrap this up, right? To wrap this up. Um... To wrap this up, let me see, what was I saying? Um, there was something I wanted to say. Maybe it'll come to me, but like the, the wrap up is that you, is that like, I mentioned how there is the vertical axis and the horizontal axis, right? Which means that like there is stuff that happens and then there is how you feel or what you or the meaning that you assign to it. Right? How it affects you. It isn't the way of saying this, right? How the things how the things that happen affect you, right? And these two things feed into each other. Right. So, why do I say tapping into sensitivity is important? Once again, like it's because when you learn to when you learn to understand energy, you also then understand that life and success and happiness is about expansion. And I've talked about this in previous entries before. You know, I've talked about this before, I, like energetic expansion or and consciousness or whatever you want to call it, right? But I think energetic expansion is the most succinct way of putting it. How do you feel when, like, you do things that you enjoy and you don't let, like, like pain get to you and instead you, you transmute it into something cool and you're in that, like, kind of, like, expanding energy? You see how it feels? Like you're like, oh my god, like 
oh, I, 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 like, the sun's out, and, like, I'm gonna go for a walk, and, like, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna, cr and I'm gonna make a piece of music, and I'm gonna talk to these people, and I'm gonna expand my, uh, oh, I just had a great idea, oh my god, like, oh, like, I can't, like, can't wait to, like, eat and drink that green smoothie that I, that I made yesterday, oh my god, like, oh, the world is so full of possibility, and, like, I can't, we we're so lucky to be born in this time. Do you feel the expansion? It's, it's like, you're like, it's like, ah, oh, possibility. I can do this. I can do that. You know, like, I am still alive. I breathe, right? And there are people here. And they're all, like, they're all the same as me in, in terms of, like, they're all trying. And we all want to live in a better world, you know. And even though I'm broke... Even though I'm broke, there are companies that exist that like that help me help me to survive without me being in a traditional job, which I fucking hate, right? That self-employed gig economy, yo. Fucking ace, man. That shit exists, right? Like tonight I can play the piano, I can play video games, I can you could like what do you enjoy doing? You can do them. Right, and once you've done them, you can then do the next thing, and you can start to think, okay, like, maybe I actually want to make this a part of my career, and you do that, you know, and it's like, do you feel the expansion? Right? What happens when you're like, you know, like, uh, I, like, I need to, I need to, um, I need to make money. What, what's like a, a good sum of money to make, like, make, they say that 10,000 dollars is like a month is like the comfortable threshold like but like oh, i'm nowhere near that shit oh, if anything oh fuck like i don't know how I'm, i think i'm in the red now like fuck you know like oh, but no no i can't let that get to me i can't let it get to me you know like i, I need to do music i'm gonna do music tonight right fucking love is the way to go right like I can do it, like, you know, I, I have dreams, right, I didn't get on this journey for nothing, right, I, like, I'm gonna eat healthy, I'm gonna eat healthy, you know, like, oh, fuck, like, I wanna eat, fuck, fuck, I don't wanna eat donut, I don't wanna eat donut, I don't wanna eat donut, I don't wanna eat KFC, I don't wanna eat McDonald's, I want, I want, I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat healthy, I'm gonna make green smoothie, you know, I'm going to fucking people upstairs jumping them down. Fuck them. Fuck them. They're fucked. But you know what? No. Yeah, fuck them. But like, they are human beings on the journey. And I shouldn't be angry at them. I shouldn't be angry at them. You know, I want, like, I need to, I need to do my fucking music. Like, if only, if only my parents and friends didn't get my way. No, but no, 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 don't think like that. Don't think like that. Do you feel the difference in energy? Because, but like, notice that in both cases, I'm like, I do want to eat healthy. I do want to, to, um, I do want to do what I love. But do you see the difference between those two, those two examples? I say the same things, and this, and this example relating to you, like, you will, you will, always try like you will always focus on like the similar kinds of things right but the place that you are energetically will change right and you will notice that when you're in an expansive energy things happen naturally you're more happy you're inspired you give the benefit of the doubt more you know you're more you're more likely to try new things you know and and satiate your curiosity even even though you, otherwise, they would be risky. Because what is... That might be risky. We're now entering constriction. Energetic constriction, which is the opposite, which is what most people are in. It's like, you're like, you're trying to convince yourself. Did you hear me trying to convince myself in, in like, the latter example? I was like, no, I, I, I need to eat healthy. I can't eat McDonald's. Like, you know, can you, can you feel that? Can you feel that within yourself? when you're not in such a good mood and you're like no but like i'm on a mission and you could be completely calm but like inside you're like it's like there's like a there's like a leeching thing feeling there's a burning inside 
there's a dull pain inside because you're like you're trying to convince yourself you're desperate right you're desperate So like that's important is energetic. And I might I'll probably talk about this again because this is super important. If you want like the definition, I remember like in one of my older entries, I already said that if you want a definition of happiness, this is it. Like at the end of my tra- my channel trailer. <laughs> if you haven't watched that, check it out, it's funny. <laughs> but like Yeah. You know? Um Yeah. And so how do we get how do we get into energetic expansion? You optimize love. You know. And sometimes what is love? Or rather like what like how do you get into energetic constriction? Sometimes it's love, but it's not always love. Sometimes it's allowing pain. Do you see that? Sometimes allowing pain and not love, which is what makes logical sense, which is why you're like, fucking, I can't, no, I don't want to eat KFC, no, I don't, I don't hate my parents, no, I don't hate myself, because you're like, I must focus on love, law of attraction, <laughs> law of attraction dictates that I must focus on this, on positivity, but sometimes you need to allow pain and darkness and the unsavory thoughts that you have, in order to expand. You see that? What is constriction? The opposite of, of this. What do we know, what do we typically experience in, in modern society? Right. Typically it's like, uh, like it's pain. It's people being assholes to you, it's society being stupid, people having stupid opinions, people people being like people Stupid people getting into prominence and you're like fucking like they what what do they contribute to society? Right. Right. But you notice in my latter example that I gave that I was trying to convince myself to feel good, right? And this is interesting because like I'm not saying that this is wrong, because I do this all the time. And like I do believe that like there is like sometimes you do need to fight a bit with yourself. To stop yourself from like being led off the cliff. I do think you should. I, I think everyone should be vigilant. I'm not saying like you know we should all be hippies. Hedonism for the win, man. Oh, take my shirt off, you know, like free love, man. Who wants to make love? You know, like I'm not saying that. In essence, I kind of I am saying that, but like I'm saying that like objectively, you should have a bit of vig- like a bit of cynicism and vigilance and critical thinking. So sometimes, yeah, like it's okay. It's okay to be vigilant and to be like, no, like, I, I'm going to, like, you know, like, I'm go- like, no, I'm going to force myself to do this. And funnily enough, if you then, if you then make that decision, what does that lead to? Energetic expansion, right? Have you heard of the placebo effect? Have you heard of, like, indecisiveness is worse? This, you may not have heard of this. This is what I discovered, right? Indecisiveness is worse than making a bad decision. How fucking crazy is that? Indecision tends to be worse than making the bad decision. You know? That does not make any fucking sense. Because if you make a bad decision, you are shooting yourself in the foot. Whereas if you're indecisive, at least you're not making a bad decision and you still have the opportunity to make a good decision. So why does indecision lead to more harm generally than making a bad decision? It's the energy. Because when you're indecisive, you're in disarray, cognitive dissonance, you're burning your energy, like trying to decide what to do. You're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And that energy is what causes the harm. Yeah, technically, making a bad, a bad decision is worse, but what tends to happen in reality, in real time, is that you will waste a ton, a shit ton of energy being in inertia. You're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And like, you, you literally like, you literally like, 
sacrifice brain cells or something, right? And 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 produce like you know fucking cortisol in your body by stressing over a decision. Whereas if you make a bad decision, yes, it's shit, but at least you're not like you're not like fucking like you're not flooding your whole system with cortisol. So do you see how fucking complicated this shit is? What what is energetic expansion? It's simple. It's simple, but is doing it easy? No. <laughs> Because there's so many fucking like caveats and, and nuances and like ah, oh, but if you do it if you do it in this state, it is okay. But if you do the same thing in another state, it's not okay. But there you have it. I'll leave with this long ass fucking entry. But who gives a shit? <laughs> Hopefully you're still watching. If you are, thank you very much. I love you. I love you. I'm supplicating to you, <laughs> but I do appreciate it. Like, yeah. If you want. The answer, energetic expansion. You don't have to become Russell Brand or like, who's that guy? That unicorn guy, <laughs> Shaft Udin. <laughs> like, you don't have to become him. He's like, those, those guys are awesome, but you don't have to, you don't have to have the, you don't have to press yourself to become though, that level of expansion, right? <laughs> but you can expand. And it's the feeling that you're focusing on. Again, it's not as simple as that. This is this is the, the interesting about life that I fucking love. It's like have like a teensy little bit of cynicism. You know, listen to the person who says like, huh, "You're a fucking tree hugger." Science says this. <laughs> so yeah, but like you are stupid because you don't you don't consider the scientific thing. Yeah, no, they're they're kind of right. You know, like it's like you know have a bit of cynicism, a bit of vigilance. Against like against like faulty decision making, because you're you're just high off of like love and peace and all of that stuff, right? But and this is the the great thing is because you get to decide for yourself what is that balance for you. Like all of like all of what I'm saying is just a concept, like a, a crystallization of the insight that I have for you, so that you can maybe take that and like add it and like see if you resonate with it or not but ultimately like anything that i say it could be like complete trash to you and that's okay you know like i'm prepared to like it's not even it's nothing to do with me so i can shut the fuck up right it's like no you you're in control of what you think what is the right balance for you how much how much you want to expand how much you you, you want to stay constricted it's up to you like you know what's right for me is not right for you it's not right for russell brand you know it's like you get to decide, and I think that's amazing that we all get to decide for ourselves, right? So, but yeah, if you want the answer, that's it. Expand, aim for expansion. If you want happiness and fulfillment, aim for expansion, which is a feeling. So, like, yeah, what Teal said is kind of right. You know, she's, I guess she's better at, I don't know. I wouldn't say better. <laughs> no, but like, just, it's a different... It, it's it's tagging it from a different paradigm, you know, she's saying, what would someone who loves themselves do? And sometimes it could be something that's traditionally happy, or sometimes it could be admitting to yourself that you hate everyone, because that would be the most, the more self-loving thing to do in that moment. Learn to feel, tap into your sensitivity. I can't believe something that I said, like, you know, as a little boy, <laughs> back in 2014, you remember, like, I had, like, I had really short hair, and I was really, I was, like, more, like, chubby, and, like, and I looked weird, <laughs> do you remember my very first videos? I can't believe that something I came up with then, to be fair, that was a really kind of crucial moment for me, like, that was when I, like, had the majority of my spiritual awakening, you know, I would say, like, or, like, you know, just, just downloading and stuff like that, which is why I ultimately started this channel, right, but, like, um, yeah, man, like, I can't believe that still holds true to get it today. Tap into your sensitivity. Understand energy and the difference between expansion and con constriction or contraction or, or restriction or resistance or whatever you want to call it, right? Understand the difference between those two, how they feel. And once you do, learn to, like, listen to them. Do you remember something else I said? It was like, a, again, a fucking old ass entry. I said, your emotions are an internal guidance system. 
I don't know how I said it back then. I was like, your emotions are into, like, I, I, I talked more like kind of like matter of factly, but now I'm just kind of looser, right? But like, your emotions are an emotional guidance system. I can't remember, I can't remember how I was. I think I was just more serious in general, but like, and deadpan, but like, yeah. It's true. So learn to listen to them and interpret them the right way. So cool. I will leave you with that. An hour-long entry. That's the way we like it. So cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this entry. If you have any comments about what I've said, about my fashion sense, whether it's good, whether it's shit, let me know. You know, um, yeah. And I hope it was insightful. And thank you very much for watching this. If you've watched this far, I will continue to make these entries. And I will, yeah, continue to talk trash, but also hopefully provide some insight. So cool. Signing off. I love you. <laughs> like, yeah, like I hope you're doing well. I hope how if you're feeling right now, you're still going, you know. And yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Just keep going. We can do it. You know, it's so, so amazing. Like right now that we have this opportunity to do what we're doing so cool i wish you the best of luck from one light worker to the other you know let's keep going so cool i love you and as always i will catch you in the next entry thank you very much peace out Whoosh.